Demon just got out of can. I gave my bro an advance. Right, how's it going guys? My name's Luke and this is LBTV and welcome back to the channel today. So as you can see, I've got my Globe Murders new polo one, we've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies and stuff like that. I think we're bringing these out for the future. But anyway, today is the big global new HQ opening day. Now I'll tell you what, me and Chris have been here till early hours of the morning, trying to smash this out, trying to get this all ready. It's been absolutely mental this past like seven days has been ridiculous trying to get this new unit ready but it's it's going to be so good because now the cars we're selling within this unit is it's just going to look unreal like i'll i'll show you guys later on we've got to drive us credit to these guys who come down and uh, made us an awesome promotional video that we're going to stick in this clip uh, a bit later on but for now we gotta head down um pretty much get a few last bits ready because today is the day of the go hq we've got an event going on where people will be turning up and having a look around with refreshments etc and global's come a really long way uh chris has done really well chris if you remember is only 25 years old and owns this business and he's smashing it out the park of it um uh, but yeah, must say, i just want to say a massive shout out to obviously friends and family that has helped out during this seven days to try and get this all ready just so we can have this open day for everyone um today but yeah if you're new to the channel guys make sure you hit the subscribe button check us all out on the globe motors um page as well we've got instagram facebook we upload uh very regularly on um on those social media platforms so if you go check it out it'll be awesome and mean a lot to us um anyway for now let's head down to the unit and uh we'll catch up with you guys in just a minute Okay, so please excuse how windy it is up here, guys. Again, it's always it's always windy up here, but we're at the we're at the old unit. Uh, I'm just saying our last farewells. Just collected up our pressure washer and the few last bits, whacking in the back of the caddy, and then we're heading our way down to uh, basically reveal the uh, the new unity, guys. I'll show you the outside when we get down in a second, and then we'll just jump straight in the new Global HQ. So let's get this all packed up in here. Say our last farewells to the unit. I mean. It's all right, I'm gonna be a little bit sad, but there's two things I'm not gonna miss. That's all this wind and the hat, the fact that it smells like absolute crap up here. Like it really, really does. Anyway, let's get the pressure washer in and everything else and then come back to you guys. Okay, and then this guy's here is the brand new unit. Unit 356 is where we're at. Um, the area is very really nice. We've got tons of spaces going all the way down. Um, there's a few bits we've obviously got to clear up today first. We'll get rid of all this crap over there. Uh, all this rubbish from doing what we've done within the unit out there. I'm not going to go in and show you guys anything because, you know, it's all got to be a nice big surprise for you in a minute. But all I can say is now is that I'm going to basically, me and Chris, Chris is about to get here in a second. Um, it's early in the morning. Uh, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, I'm just going to wait for Chris to get here. And once Chris gets here, we're going to crack on cleaning the rest of the stuff up. And then, um, all I can say is now, guys, after this, is uh, enjoy the global new HQ. I'll see you very shortly. Right, 
All right, so there we go. Shout out to Drive Us for making such a sick promotional video for us. Um, here is the new HQ then. What do you all think? Obviously, this is going to be our photos and collection area. Obviously, we've got Chris's golf here at the moment. It's been fully detailed by Harry from Platinum Detailing, so he's done a sick job. If you haven't, um, if you haven't seen Harry before, go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description down below, along with Drive Versus. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is going to be our photo and collection area. So when someone walks straight through the door, the first thing they're going to see is obviously the sign and then it comes straight in to the car. So I'll just show you around a few of the stock, well, a few bits of stock that we've got in at a minute. Um, there is a few outside waiting prep and stuff like that. Um, the ST has actually sold, but it's a really nice example, this ST500. Really clean in the black colour, it's really low mileage. A um, few nice subtle mods to it done as well. Uh, I've got the Mini Cooper, what is this again? It's a Paceman, isn't it? Paceman JCW, isn't it? All oh, right, so it's like a Paceman, it's Paceman Cooper S, they call it, I guess, isn't it? And with a JCW kit on it. But it's actually for a 4x4, this is pretty cool. It's actually really cool. We were just, we were just toying with the idea of like lowering it and just like maybe putting like a splitter kit on it, that looked pretty cool. It's an SD500. Um, this will be going up for 3995. So photos of that will be coming shortly. Um, that's pretty much all ready to go. Just maybe get Harry to come over it and give it a mop. He already has done that, has he? Oh yeah, he has done that one, hasn't he? Yeah. Sorry, it's, but it's been a long week. <laughs> it's been a real long week. This has just literally come in, so this is one that's a wait and prep so for that to be done. But what we're going to be putting this one up for? The Cooper R. What's that? 10 9 5. But obviously, if you're like wanting the wait. What's that? Only 48,000 miles. And to be fair, you don't see a lot of them in this colour. We've had one before. We had a blue one um, that didn't last very long. And um, to be fair, this is pretty much the same sort of spec in it as the blue one we used to have. Yeah, Cooper R. So it's got the nice, um, I really love the seats. We'll go inside and look from the back. Got the all black leather seats. Real nice. And then obviously we move over to the mine and Chris's race clears. Obviously we haven't done much to them yet, but they look really nice with the hashtag Team Global written on the back. Um, we thought we'd put it in there for like a little exp exhibition open day. Looks really nice. Uh, stage three Fiesta ST, M595. Um, this is a really nice clean example. It's got a front splitter. It's a nice blue. It's lowered on the SD180 wheels. We do like them when they come in stock and they're looking like this. I mean, they do, don't get me wrong, they do look nice when they've got Team Dynamics and that one as well, but we do like them in the, in the blue with like low line kits and SD180 wheels on them. But this is a ST, uh, SD2, this one. But really nice and size, as you guys can see. But yeah, these are all pretty much me going up this week when the video goes up. Um, these will probably all be online by the time this video is up, but there we go. And obviously the S3 as well. We've literally just taken this into stock. This is absolutely stunning. And as well, guys, on the back, this is my favorite bit. It's got Aquaforge exhaust. Sick one. There, as you see, looks stunning. I don't even know what the color name for this is, do you? Yeah, I've never seen one in this color, but it's really nice. Obviously DSG, uh, sat nav, which is, um, a really nice thing to have on these, but yeah, the stock down there is definitely a lot better. We've got another stage three out there waiting prep. Uh, we've got a few other bits and bobs out there, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. The new Global HQ. Actually, I'll quickly go up here and show you guys the, the Global written in the ground because it looks really cool. There you go. No, you're not, but well, I sort of on a wide angle. Um, I'll take it off wide angle. Yeah, there you go. So it sort of says Global in the ground. To be fair, from up here, it looks so damn cool. And we even got the like mood light set in so that when the customers are in down looking at the cars, you'll see like a nice beam of light going across the cars. Because obviously these will be pre prepped really well, machine polished so that when the light beams down on it, it doesn't show up any, well, it will show up any imperfections, but obviously there won't be any on these cars because we'll have Harry come down and do his bit. Cause he's gonna be here every week now. I think it's every Wednesday, isn't it? Every Wednesday, Harry's gonna be down here now. So. If there's any of you watching that are interested in what Harry does, I mean, if you would come have a chat with him, we're here. He's going to be here every Wednesday. Um, and I think another thing we're probably going to do down here is like after today's, you know, good open success, we might do some more like cars and coffee weekends where a lot of you guys that are watching can come down and show off your cars outside. And who knows, we might even end up buying it off you if you come down and just want to show us it, just, you know, to maybe even sell to us. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you've enjoyed it, I know it's been quite short, but um, I just thought I'd get out the open day because it's sick. And we spent literally like unknown amount of hours on this bloody place. 
180 liters of paint. This place used to be Magnolia, which was, <laughs> it used to be awful. But, um, but yeah, now the place looks awesome. Got a curtain bit over there to cover up because there's like a door behind that bit. But apart from that, the place is looking sweet. Just got to sort out a few bits in the office, but we'll get that done this week. And then this place will be 100% ready to roll. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, check out everyone's links that's been mentioned in this video description down below. And make sure you go check out Global's page as well. Um, we pretty much are gonna be uploading, I'm say, I'd say daily now, considering we're inside and we don't have to, you know, wait for cars to, you know, well, the cars are just gonna be clean all the time. So we'll do like live updates of what stock we've got going on. We'll be a lot more active on the socials now because we'll be indoors. So we're not gonna be outdoors where it's all like doom and gloomy and like windy and shit like that. So it's just a lot nicer place to be now. And um, if any of you got questions or anything, feel free to contact us, contact us online. We're always um, active, even out of work hours. For some reason, we're still, we're still here. We're just, it was pure global, weren't we? So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all next video. Make sure you hit subscribe. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye for now.